Hey YouTube, Untamed here. So here are the two vehicles that I heavily considered neck and neck. And before you even jump to the keyboard, of course, they are in two very different price brackets, of course, right? So we got over $100,000 over here for the GMC, and then just over 50, dollars dollars $53,000 for the Toyota Sienna there. But I was truly trying to cross shop probably a used, used GMC Yukon XL or a used Escalade ESV or perhaps a used uh, Chevy Suburban. So those were the things I was considering, but that, oh, we got, oh, we got a peanut. Hey, Mei Mei. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we don't always go to the dealership, but when we do, it's a family affair. <laughs> All right, so uh, 2023 Toyota Sienna XSE 25th Anniversary Edition. I did almost purchase the same exact GMC Yukon XL. It was a black one. It was a black one, Ultimate Edition. If you guys remember me uh, referencing that a few times um, in my previous videos, but there was a black one for sale. It had 2,000 miles on it. Um, and it was, I think it was just over $100,000. So I didn't, I didn't feel right spending close to MSRP for a used one of these, right? Because typically speaking, a GM product, you know, they, they, they tank in value, historically speaking, right? So they're a harder one to buy with full confidence that is going to sustain value. And this will likely be the same. It'll likely lose 20, 30 grand with the next few, we got a buggy feature. It'll, it'll likely lose 20 or $30,000 over the next few years. And... The Sienna here will, it'll lose a lot less over time. And just historically speaking, Toyotas in general just do a little bit better when it comes to resale. Uh, but that's not why we got it, right? So I mean, obviously it saved us a lot of money between the two of them anyway. Saved us about $50,000 getting the Sienna here. But just a size comparison here, keep in mind the Sienna's back a little bit further too. And even the, the Yukon goes beyond maybe about six inches here, and we're back further. So a lot less headroom in here, as you'd imagine. Between the two of them, that is one quote-unquote pitfall of the, oh, we're, we're closing now, one pitfall of the Sienna compared to the Yukon XL over there, of course. But the fuel economy has a huge, huge perk of the Sienna, of course. So we get 36, 36 miles to the gallon versus pipe. He wanted to show you his new laugh. Um, so 36 miles to the gallon versus 25. I think I think it's 25 with the the diesel. This has the the Duramax uh, three liter, if I recall. I think it's the three liter. Oh, it says right here. Here we go. So yeah, so three liter Duramax diesel. So a little bit better fuel economy in this. However, I think I would prefer the 6.2 liter. The black one that I was considering also had the Duramax. Let me know which one you would prefer out of those two uh, engine options there. The 6.2 liter V8 or the Duramax diesel here. But it being the ultimate edition, you do have some blacked out headlights, some darkened headlights, and then of course that darkened chrome front grille, which looks menacing. I absolutely love that. Show you down below. Yeah, these, these guys kind of hang, hang down pretty low here. Interesting. Let me know what you think of these wheels. These are unique to the Ultimate Edition as well, which I think they look pretty incredible. And there's just a lot going on here, guys. I'll try to give you a close up. There's a lot going on with these wheels. Perhaps a little gaudy, depending on who you're talking to, but I think they look awesome. I think it's a fitting look for this particular platform. There's a Denali based on that, of course, but it's the top, top, top trim possible. Just kind of an idea of what your, your hood lines look like. I wish I had the keys to it. It is a Sunday. They're not open. We're just kind of driving around. Um, but there is your interior, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome. If you've never seen it, check out other videos. Check out some Google images. They are sweet. So kind of an idea of just how they stack when it comes to height. So a lot more headroom in here, a lot more space for the kiddos to perhaps walk around. It does have two captain's chairs with a third row with plenty. This is the biggest difference between the two. 
plenty of space beyond the third row. The Sienna here isn't bad by any means. Yeah, it makes do. So this is with one of our strollers here, but it's deep. So it's like a little bucket space with some additional space on the side. So this is still plenty good, better than the 2023 Toyota Sequoia TRD Pro that we had uh, by a long shot, I would argue. But this one here has about double that, maybe even triple that beyond that third row there. So that is really cool. Not to mention just a little bit more, like I said, headspace. So if you want to put something a little bit taller in there, stand up something like a like a desk or whatever to try to put in there to transport a couch, it'll do a lot better job with that. And not to mention, I believe, I believe they, they fold flat too. So something to know. You're badging out back. Kind of that dark gray GMC logo here. There's your Denali badge. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. I think it is a sleek rig. It is huge. <laughs> we'll go show you the window sticker here in a second too. I think it had a $5,000 markup on it. That's crazy, the day and age that we live in, right? That a GMC, a freaking Yukon is sporting a markup on it. So, here's your window sticker. I'll let you pause on that if you'd like. There's your, <laughs> there's your markup, although you're getting something for it, but you know, uh, ceramic coat, protection I mean, you're talking maybe maybe a thousand dollars tops for a vehicle this big even that is a steep price tag so it does have the kick out running boards as you open the door but there you have it tame okay playing soccer in the freaking okay oh and a car is coming how about that all right, so we'll wrap up the video there, guys. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know which of these you would choose and why. Appreciate you watching, as always. Until next time.